as, or as a group? Is that something you guys just put in the, in the past and look forward? Uh, I mean, yeah, obviously, I, to, I think any team after losses. Um, eager to get a win. Um, I just think it's key for us now to, you know, after a win, um, have that same fire and energy for the next game. Has there been these Thursday games you've had? Have you felt the urgency that you've felt going into the Sunday games? Um, I, I mean, as a team, uh, probably not a little bit just because I think, uh, like, Colorado win, I think we kind of stressed that out for a little too long. But I think, uh, I think we learned from that last game, and I think we're more locked in. Um, after this one that we were at Colorado. Zach, it seems like the last two games you've been a little bit more aggressive, kind of looking for your shot, maybe uh -huh. getting to the rim a little bit. Uh -huh. What's uh, been going through your mind last game? Um, I was just kind of taking what the defense gives me. Um, earlier in the last game, they put some littles on me, and so like I understand I had good open looks from three, but I think the guys were like 5, 10, 6 feet, so I thought it would be uh, better to get a little bit more aggressive and you know, taking the paint. Do you earn the battle scar against Arizona State or Arizona? Uh, Arizona, yeah, in the second half. Do you remember what play? Uh, on the reverse layup where I got hit in the face, yeah. Worth it? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of those keys to gathering momentum from, you know, what was a pretty big win Sunday and be able to carry that forward there? Um, I just think, you know, not being satisfied with a win at all. Um, I think we need just, like I said earlier, um, we need to have the same fire after a loss as we do after a win, and I think we understand that a lot more now, and we understand, uh, you know, what it takes and how good we can potentially be on defense. So I just think you know, we need to carry that over. You kind of get glimpses of how good this team can be when you play down the stretch uh -huh. against Colorado or against Arizona. Like yeah. You didn't uh, see what the ceiling is here. Yeah, I mean for sure. I mean, since we know we can play like that, I think uh, it's the toughest thing now is to do that all the time. So instead of doing that in sports, we can do that. I you know, try to do that for a full 40 rather than, you know, 18 or 20 minutes. Coach said you guys come out fine. It's just, you know, so something might happen, uh -huh. you know, a second there where you, you hit a valley uh -huh. halfway through the first half. I mean, how do you maintain that focus and energy that you guys get when you're coming out of uh, pregame, coming yeah. out of the half? Uh, I think you just got to stick with the game plan. You know, basketball's a game of runs, and they're going to go on their runs. We're going to go on ours. So I think, you know, when they, you know, we got to maximize our runs, minimize theirs. So once we minimize theirs, just stick to the game plan and, you know, keep on going with uh, what's working. Is there ever a point um, you play a game like Sunday and he played so well, you just you, you step back and think, get, kind of get mad about why can't we do that all the time? Yeah, I mean, you know, every team goes through that. You can't play perfect all the time. And obviously, Sunday was the last eight minutes was a game where we played pretty well in defense, and you know, the rest was history. We went on a huge run, um, but you know. You know, there's different different days. You can't play like that all the time, like I said. So there's, you know, spurts that you go through with that. So uh, we just got to do our best, you know, in practice, you know, getting ready for the game. You know, it got to be – I think it's more mental than physical. So that's a mental part of just staying locked in all the time. How does that scout for Washington change with Quake Green out? Um, I honestly haven't really looked much into it. I mean, haven't really – this is our, really our first practice since the game. So today we'll put in the game plan and everything. So I haven't really looked at this guy report or anything quite yet. So sort of an unwritten rule as far as how long you celebrate a win, because mm -hmm. Coach talked about this after yeah. the game. Sort of that unwritten rule, is it basically the next time we take the court, or, or how does um, that work? I'd say, you know, what, um, when we watch film the next day and then put it behind us right there. Um, it's obviously great to get a win against a top 25 team like that, but I'm pretty sure we got, what, 14 or four conference games. It's a long season, so we got a lot more games left. So one game, uh, one game doesn't define you, so we, we got we to gotta validate that one with a lot more. Watching for home games in Guild as your family get to come down. Uh, yeah, my family comes down almost every single game. Um, mainly, my, you know, my grandparents, my parents, my brothers. They got other stuff they're doing all the time with basketball and lacrosse and stuff, so they can't make it all the time. But yeah, my family makes it down the most most every game. I guess that was a fun one to chat with them after. Yeah, you know, yeah, for sure. Well, a lot, a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So.